Okay, it's Saturday. Uh, here's everything I found for today. Everything on this table. And <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm like uh, under the weather. Um, those buckets, even I got that, and uh, these trays here. Uh, I'll start with the games. I spent 193 on everything. I got. I'm gonna do this in several videos and put it together. I went to two town wides today. Two. I went to uh, Verona and then I went to North Arlington. And I, while I did get reasonable, good prices, things like that, I did not get anything that of an insane value or whatever. Um, let me do the games first. Um, for ten dollars, I got a Sega Genesis. It's complete. And, uh, oh, maybe it has a new AV. Oh, no, wait. Okay, it has the old AV, which means I'm going to have to switch that out. Let's see, yeah. Um, and then for $15, uh, so it's 25 at the wholesale, I got an unopened Call of Duty Xbox One Advanced Warfare, and I got a Dead Rising 3. And this one is opened, and it's uh, pre-owned. 15 for the two, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. Let's see. Um, more games. For $10, I got a beat up Wii. That's mostly complete, except for it doesn't have the controller or the nunchucks. And uh, I'm not even, I haven't even been testing that stuff or doing anything with it yet. But my plan for the Wii's is to uh, get a uh, GameCube controller and then sell them as a. Uh, Uh, sell them as Wii GameCube players. Um, for $5, it was actually 15 I bought it at the same t uh, uh, sale, a beat-up Wii. And I didn't get a lot of games today. I, I know I missed out on games. Uh, I, I got to sales. I said, oh, yeah, somebody came earlier. There was one sale I went to, and I'll talk about where I beat someone out for games, and it, he was right there, and he asked like two seconds after I had asked, right? So that was 5 I don't know if it works, so i got to charge it up. Uh, let's see. Those are CDs. Oh, um, for a buck a piece, I got an NBA Jam case instructions. Um, and the case is clean. I, do, I mean, for a buck a piece, I wanted the cases. Uh, but this did actually have the Sonic 2 um, with the manual. So I got the um, didn't get the NBA Jam game. And I got a Pebble Beach Golf Links. But I don't really care about this game. I wanted the case. You know. You know, the cases will help bump the value if I have, like, a crappy case or something like that. Uh, that goes with the uh, Sega Genesis. I think I got some more games. I'm just... What that is. I'm going to piece everything together when I'm done. Hmm. What's this? Okay. And then for $5... I got these, uh, this is the first, well, let me do this first. This is the first sale I went to. I got, um, I was like, do you have any games? And this is actually early. And this is the, seems to be the only way to get games now at sales. Um, I got there early. I said, do you have any games? They said, oh, yeah, we have some inside. But they mostly had Wii games. He went inside, and he couldn't find the Wii games. He brought this out. As I he was bringing these out for me, someone else was like, do you have any games? And um, they said, yeah, but uh, this guy's already, uh, gonna look at him or whatever and then that guy split right because he was like Ugh. he didn't want to be uh, hanging around I guess he figured he'd get the jump on me on some other sales but anyway um this Metroid Prime Hunter came with a DS rumble pack I have not seen one of those but that will be interesting to try actually I might pair that up with, with this and see uh see uh I have the charger for this so if I can get that working I'll check that out uh, so anyway, I got these for $5. And then this is a Nightmare Yu-Gi-Oh! Troubadour. These probably aren't really very valuable games. Uh, I don't really know the value of them, uh, but I'll check it later. Uh, for $5, I got these three PS3 games. Uh, Killzone 2. These are probably $5 each, these games. Uh, 007 Legends. Look at that. Uh, and then a Mass Effect 3. Okay, I think that's the only games I got today. Uh, next, I'll probably do action figures and, and work my way through the other stuff and piece it all together. Um, for $6, I got these two PlayStation 2 memory cards. And I got this uh, Game Boy Advance link so you could hook up two games. I don't really know what those are worth, but I know people need them now. Um, 
for two dollars. I got these four Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. Um, for fifty cents a piece, I got some wrestlers. They'll go with my other wrestlers. I'll have the bucket right over there. These there was they had a bunch of wrestlers at the sale, and so they supposedly earlier. And these were what was left over. I'm going to sell these probably $3, 2 for 5 These look like maybe they have a little bit of wear. I don't really know why they passed on these at $0.50 cents a piece. Um, for a dollar, I got these two figures. That's a Spider-Man or whatever. Uh, for $4, I got all this Thomas the uh, Tank stuff. Uh, I guess that's Thomas. This is, feels chintzy. Coal shells. Some of them are metal. Some of them are... That's a metal ball. Uh, hmm, that one's weird. Oh, it has like snow on it. Okay. And that's... All right. And then for <coughs> a quarter a piece, I got everything in this bag. And there was a lot of these Tonka toy trucks and stuff like these. Uh, you know what? This is going to be dollar stuff. Uh, I got like Smurfs, Tonka cars, Smurf, Tonka car. I'm, gonna try, I'm trying to sort stuff as I'm going through in separate bags. Um, I forget what those guys are called. I know I saw the movie. And I went on the ride when I was at Universal. These guys, I'll sell this for like a dollar. I don't know if they were McDonald's, but there was a lot of Tonka truck. Like the Tonka, so everything was a quarter a piece. So, more Tonkas. More of this guy. Bunch of Smurfs. Uh, California Raisin. I don't know if anybody remembers the California Raisins. More Smurfs. I don't know if those Smurfs are McDonald's toys or, or not, but I can sell them easily a buck a piece. Tonkas. You know, I'll put the Tonkas with, with, I have like other toy cars. Uh, and it's just like table filler. If I can't get really good expensive stuff to sell at the flea markets, I'll load my tables with uh, goofy stuff and nonsense like, like this because uh, toys do sell. And again, these are only 25 cents a piece, so uh, I can most, I'm not, I doubt I'll like four times my money on a on it but but I can at least double my money over time uh, what is it something me that the first sale I went to the first thing I actually bought um, was this bag and this is like all kind of Pokemon stuff Let's out of the way uh, some large Pokemon figures and I paid 20 for all of this. Maybe 21. I got these two books. I think I'm going to put, I'll take stuff like this to the convention. They're in relatively good condition. And uh, then I got some soft plushies. Let's see. I forget all these characters' names. But as you can see, it's just a bag of random uh, Pokemon stuff. This one looks to be like he's missing his wings. So I'll just take that to the flea market. Here's a Pokemon plush. I can probably get like three or five dollars for that. Here's a, I don't know what this is, but there's something in there. It's just soft. What's this? Uh, I'll remember that's, I forget that guy's name. Let's see. It must be Pikachu Evolved. Yeah, it's just random Pokemon figures. So, like I said, I paid 20 for the whole bag. So, like, here's some little ones. I can sell the little ones for a dollar. Or so. I don't feel like dumping these all out. I'll go throw these later. Uh, and my plan is to basically sell these for, like... Like, this one I might take to a convention and try and get, like, three to five dollars for... Then they, they, these these I'll try and get like two dollars. It's a rock. Okay. 
Oh, that's a dinosaur. Uh, okay. There's like a little teeny one. This probably goes in this bag. This here. This. So as you can see, for 20 bucks, it's like fine. What is this? Okay. He must be missing the top of his head. Oh, maybe this is it. Hmm. Oh, it's backwards. Okay. See if I can fix him. So, again, I'm not going to get rich off of this stuff, but. Alright, I, I think that's all the action figures. Next video, I'll, I'll just add on to this. Okay, uh, this part's going to be music and uh, DVDs. Starting with records. Uh, I paid either $2 or $1 for these. So I got uh, Pete Townsend, The Clash, London Calling. I think I paid $2 for these. And then there was some I only paid a dollar for. The Kinks, uh, Jethro Tull, Stormwatch. I guess I'm doing records now. Jethro Tull, uh, Tull Broad, Sword, Jethro Tull, Tull, Heavy Horses, Jethro Tull, Songs from the Wood. I have, today I don't, I'm not feeling great, so. Uh, Jeth, uh, the Who, Face Dances, Rush. Moving pictures. I I got a 12 at a sale. Rush 2112 Scorpions, and I asked the guy, "Hey, uh, I'm getting tw uh, 12, and they were two bucks a piece." I said, "Can I get them for 20?" He's like, "Ugh!" He got all pissed off. So I was like, "Relax." I said, "Look, it's my job to ask for a discount. A uh, police is in very good condition, and it's your job to say yes or no." And he said, "No." Uh, Lace and whiskey, Alice Cooper. I think with records. I'm probably going to take them out and just say 10 bucks a piece um, and let them sort through and see what they want. And uh, if I can't sell them, if, I'm gonna, if they're going to want to buy them from me for like 3 bucks, a lot these records are selling online now, anywhere from like 10 to $35. So um, if I can't sell them, I'm going to give them to my friend and he can list them. But I want to try them. Uh, I got this for a friend of mine. This is a KISS 3D video. It includes uh, 3D glasses for viewing. Then I got some DVDs, uh, Gangs of New York, Cincinnati Kid, starring uh, Steve McQueen, Avatar, uh, Catching Fire, Hunger Games. Oh, here's another game I missed, um, but this is really a BS game. It was a dollar, but I bought it for uh, <sighs> the case. Hello. All right, let's see. Uh, next, I'll do CDs. Uh, this is a set. It was never open. It's like a six CD set or eight CD or something. It's a little screwed up, but the CDs that were never open, $3. All right. Uh, Jethro Tull Aqualung, Lou Reed, ZZ Top, Afterburner, Tears for Fears, Seeds of Love, Steely Dan, Gaucho, Aerosmith Permanent Vacation, Winger. I'm going to make these CDs. I'm going to mark them 5 but sell them $4, 3 for 10 Dire Straits, uh, making movies. Normally, I, uh, Mick Jagger, Goddess, in the doorway, Keith Richards. Talk is cheap. White Snake, Dion, Eagles. Uh, these CDs I paid anywhere from a quarter to a dollar for. Uh, Van Halen, ZZ Top, Asia, Robert Johnson, The Complete Collection, Painkiller, Judas Priest, Damn Yankees, uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Best of Eric Clapton, um, Thorogood, Live, Van Halen, um, Michael Jackson, Ones, Carol King, The Hits, Never Open, Heart, Greatest Hits, Santana, uh, Greatest Hits, Bed Miller, Best of Eric Clapton, Bee Gees, Number Ones, and then I, I got uh, these two DVDs, Better Off Dead, Classic Movie, if you haven't seen it, you should see it, and 16 Candles, of course, a very famous movie. Okay, uh, oh, cassettes. And then I'll, I'll probably wrap it up in the last video. Quarter piece, Stephen Wolf, Rush Chronicles, Kiss, Kiss, Van Halen, Molly Hatchet, Quadrophenia the Who, Molly Hatchet, Leonard Skinner, Kansas, Poison, Molly Hatchet, ACDC, Kiss. I'm going to make these $2, 3 for 5 Leonard Skinner, Motley Crue, Joe Cocker's Greatest Hits, uh, Guns N' Roses, Bad Company. This is all classic rock. Rush Chronicles, Greatest Hits of Doors. Uh, this is the Rolling Stones. Steel Wheels, 
Led Zeppelin, Houses of the Holy, Leonard Skinner, Van Halen, Dokken, Contraband, never open. Uh, Leonard Skinner, Guns N' Roses, Alice Cooper, Greatest Hits, Edgar Wintergroup, Skid Row, Pyromania. I think I'll finish everything up in the next video. Okay, this is the last, last of the videos uh, put together. At one sale, they had a bunch of these patches on glued onto cardboard with fabric, and they were selling them ten dollars a board. I don't know much about military patches. Uh, obviously, these seem to be Vietnam era. Um, I, they had about sixteen. They would have been one hundred sixty dollars, and I didn't have that much money to play around with, and I didn't feel like learning. So what I did was I bought one. Uh, these were the most interesting to me, but here, here they go. These are really kind of neat. It was only $10. They're not in pristine, perfect condition, but uh, Vietnam War was, what, like 62 to 75. So we're talking uh, 50 years ago now, right? I'm, how am I doing on math? No, like 40 years, you know, 40 to 50 years. Um, I don't know what these are. I don't know if they're a name of ships or ports. They look like they're, they're ships. USS Enterprise from Star Trek. Let's see. Now, I don't know if what I can sell these for. I think the, pa the big patches are worth the most money, but these are actually pretty cool. Uh, they're unusual. CBs. Um, these seem to be Navy patches. Now, I might go back and get the rest if she doesn't sell them after the weekend depending on how well I do but that's the patches all right moving on <coughs> wife bought some socks heavy winter socks brand new never used uh, 50 cents each and she bought some snowshoes um, these are signed I don't know I don't know who the artist is but uh, I can't make them out but five bucks a piece this one is also signed they're just really pretty art class Got some booze. Uh, bottle's gross looking, but it was never open. So, and my friend just gave it to me. He says, "Do you drink?" And I said, ah, "Occasionally." He says, "Here." He had a whole bunch of them, and nobody bought them because the bottles were gross looking. So, I'll just clean the bottle off and whatever. Uh, my wife paid five for this. This is to give someone as a gift. We're gonna put some wine in it. We got a Frankenstein doll. Lights up. Extra light bulb. And here's the jewelry. We barely found any jewelry today. Uh, this stuff was found at yard sales. This was probably a dollar. It's like. Um, the most fun piece is probably this owl. I don't even know if it's old, but she likes this stuff. Um, then these earrings are just nice clip-ons. Uh, this, this is sterling and stone. Mexican. Um, this is silver. Mexican. I don't know if it's Mexican, but it's, uh, onyx. Mother of Pearl and, um, Marcusite. And then at the last sale we went to, I bought... She bought some more jewelry. She paid four dollars for this stuff. She got this. Looks like an African kind of face. These, I guess, are glass. Crucifix, necklace. Looks like teeny pearls. And this must be for glasses or some kind of necklace. That's it. That's everything I got today. If you want to find me tomorrow, I will be at Carney.